Now to, now to California, where a debate over nuclear energy is heating up. The San Onofer nuclear power plant has been offline for about a year now, but the utility company is determined to bring the reactor back on. The problem is that a growing number of neighbors who live near the plant want the nuclear reactor to stay shut down for good. RT's Ramon Galindo shows us the fight and how it affects America's energy future. This stretch of California coastline is paradise to many. It's just the perfect place to live, fresh air, gorgeous ocean. But with the Fukushima disaster fresh in her mind, Donna Gilmore is questioning how safe it is to live near the San Onofre nuclear power plant. We're risking being Fukushima USA and basically devastating the economy of the country and possibly the world just for Edison's profits. Gilmore moved to Orange County, assuming that living near a nuclear plant is safe. San Onofre's reactors have been shut down since January of 2012 because a leak was detected in one of the steam generator tubes. It's not unusual for new steam generators to show somewhere, but the level of wear that we saw on the steam generators here at San, at San Onofre is highly unusual, and that's what is of concern to the NRC. Since then, environmental groups and neighbors have been trying to keep the crippled plant down. It's a lab experiment, and we're all the rats. Despite safety concerns here in San Onofre, nuclear energy could be a large part of America's energy future. The Obama administration has been an advocate for the technology, even in the wake of the Fukushima disaster. The president secured an $8.3 billion loan guarantee for two nuclear reactors in Georgia. We're going to have to build a new generation of safe, clean nuclear power plants in America. Nationwide, there are 104 licensed reactors. According to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, nuclear plants generate 20% of the electricity in the U.S. We take the operation of San Onofre nuclear generating station very seriously. The operators of San Onofre presented a plan to restart their reactor at 70%. Southern California Edison is satisfied that it is safe to operate Unit 2. Some neighbors are still scared. Former nuclear executive Arnie Gunderson believes the reactor's steam generator is a disaster waiting to happen. If those tubes had failed, forget evacuating 10 miles. We're talking about an evacuation out to 20 or 30 miles. That type of sobering warning has mobilized communities to take on the nuclear industry. I finally got to retire, you know, in my dream place, and, and that could just be taken away in a second permanently, because once you have a nuclear accident, you never can come home again. The San Onofre shutdown has cost more than $300 million. The tab will likely be picked up by SoCal Edison ratepayers. With growing concerns over safety, it remains to see if America's investment in nuclear will be worth the risk. In San Clemente, California, Ramon Galindo, RT. For more on this nuclear power plant debate and if it could pose a danger, Arnie Gunderson, chief engineer of Fairwinds Energy Education, joins us now. Welcome, Arnie. So uh, I, do you think, I, should folks in that California community be concerned? If I were there, I would be very concerned. You know, the, the, the new steam generators were supposed to last 40 years, and they only lasted 10 months. So uh, starting that plant back up is, is an experiment. And I don't think we should experiment with Southern California. Yeah, uh, interesting. You know, as a former nuclear power industry executive, what dangers have you seen in your work uh, in using nuclear energy? You know, the San Onofre is the worst plant in uh, the last 12 years, the worst mechanical failure. Um, but there was a mechanical failure out in uh, Ohio back in 02. Um, that we were about two weeks away from a meltdown there. It seems like about every 10 years there's a real serious mechanical problem, and we just catch it right before the, uh, a gross failure occurs. And I'm just a little concerned that I don't want to be part of a process that keeps just catching problems. Let's nip this one in the bud. Uh, yeah, I mean, we saw the devastation that played out in Fukushima, Japan. Could something like that happen here in the U.S.? You know, the worst plant in the country, as far as evacuation plans go, is, is San Onofre. Um, when they built it in the 60s, there was nobody near it. But, of course, Southern California has grown dramatically in 50 years. So it would be almost impossible to evacuate the people that have to get out 
Um, yeah, it's the, it's the worst plant, and you've got seismic risks, and you've got these steam generators that are just an experiment waiting to go wrong. So are you a, propo a proponent of never opening that plan, period, or, or do you think there needs to be more studies, more precautions, more preparation that needs to be done before that plan is open? Well, at a minimum, the public should have a chance to have a licensing hearing on the process. You know, that my position with, with Friends of the Earth is that we're entitled to a hearing about all of the design calculations that right now we're not really privy to. So um, I don't know that we need to shut it down, but I'd sure like to see the calculations before we let it start up. And the NRC is not really willing to let that happen yet. And why not? They're a pretty secretive agency. You know, it, it's, the term is a nuclear priesthood. And they, um, of course, they believe that the sole responsibility for safety is theirs. Um, you know, tell that to the people that live near a power plant, and they might feel a little bit differently. So um, this agency historically has a record of, um, uh, of supporting the industry it's supposed to be regulating. And that's a concern, which is why Friends of the Earth went in and tried to get a licensing hearing. And, of course, there's a lot of process still to go before we determine whether or not that's going to happen. Now, according to, to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, nuclear plants generate 20 percent of the electricity in the U.S. That's a pretty good chunk there. Um, what are the alternatives if, if you're in favor of getting rid of this form of energy altogether? Yeah, I didn't suggest I'm in favor of shutting all the nuclear plants down today. Um, I don't think that's, that, that's reasonable. As you said, what are the alternatives? But, you know, there's a couple of outliers, like the San Onofre plant, that, that's awfully old and broken. That should be shut down on economic grounds. Um, the, the people in Southern California are paying close to seven or eight hundred million dollars, plus the cost for the repair, which is another seven or eight hundred million dollars. You're into this for over a billion dollars, and you've got a plant that hasn't run in 14 months. Okay. I, last off, I do want to ask you. Um, certainly, you pointed out a lot of a lot of glitches, a lot of uh, very troubling um, things that could go wrong over there in California. Is there a way to administer nuclear power in a way that is safe and sustainable? Well, we need a regulator that actually enforces the regulations we have. If that had happened. San Onofre wouldn't have had this problem. Back in 04, there was a process that should have occurred where the Nuclear Regulatory Commission would have looked at this new steam generator and said, whoa, it's got problems. Well, San Onofre managed to skirt around that problem and, and not use the, the legal process. And um, so if we enforce the laws we have, we can have um, fewer chances of, of meltdowns like we almost had at San Onofre. Yeah, certainly um, we don't want what happened over there in Fukushima to happen here on our uh, own shores. I uh, really appreciate, appreciate you coming on there, Arnie. That was Arnie Gunderson, Chief Engineer of Fairwinds Energy Education. Thanks for having me.